together to get through to the front. A lot of those deals now are not made on pit road. They're made amongst the spotters up on the roof talking with each other. And there's Robert Yates who owns the pole sitting second place car of Dale Jarrett and the seventh place car of Ricky Rudd. Pace car coming off the racetrack. The green flag will fly. Four laps to go. Folks, can you sit still for three minutes? If you only pass on the outside to get the start finish line and Jeff Burton is protecting that. Now he comes. Jarrett tried it on the inside, then he tries it on the outside. Burton blocking him every move he makes. Still gaining speed. It won't be until they come around to the start finish line. They'll be back to 190 miles an hour. Moves in mid pack at 10th place. Chad Little battling side by side. Now Jarrett. Car lamps as they head down towards the back straightaway there, down the back straightaway. He does have a run there, but you see what happened there? Jeff Burton pulls to the inside when he sees Jarrett coming, but look behind him. Three wide. wide. Rusty Wallace to the inside, sandwiching Earnhardt and sending him backwards. Mark Martin up on the high side of Rusty Wallace there. Tony Stewart pushing the two car there of Wallace as they come off turn four. It's a Ford front four. They shuffled the Chevys and Pontiacs out of there. Three laps to go. And Rusty's got to run on DJ now as they come down the front straightaway here. They try to go around Burton, but Burton blocks every move that they make. Boy, that's not going to last there. I'm going to tell you, you're going to run out of racetrack looking in the mirror quite that way. You can miss your mark getting in the corner by running that mirror that much. That's was certainly driving with that rear view mirror. Dale Earnhardt Jr. has dropped to the apron and to the back of the pack. That will put him 33rd. Jeff Burton out front has the world's widest rear bump. Boy, he does have. He's made good use of it, too. Here comes Rusty. Watch that two car of Wallace as he pulls down on Dale Jarrett. And Ricky Rudd's in that front group now. He's really made a move to the front. Got five forwards there battling it out. Two laps to go. Ward Burton and Tony Stewart, the two Pontiacs, fighting back at sixth place. Side by side. Earnhardt behind them. Yeah, Earnhardt's got nowhere to go right now. He's just sitting in the middle there waiting on these guys to determine where they're going to go. And that's two frustrating finishes in a row for Earnhardt at Pocono, or rather two out of three, where he got muscled up by Mayfield in the last lap. Looking back from your leader, Dale Jarrett, the second place car as they go down the back straightaway, Jarrett inches up, not runs up, inches up. Three miles to go. And the crew is looking at it. There's Jeff Burton's crew looking to see if he's going to be able to hold them off. And Jeff Burton would love to see somebody try DJ on the bottom side or high side. If they get side by side, that would give him right flag. Dale Jerry has been the fastest car in qualifying, one of the fastest in practice. Jeff Burton had only two fresh tires on that last stop, but he's done everything to keep Jarrett in his mirror. Two miles to go. Kim Burton looking on, praying. Not breathing much right now. Come on, Jeff, she says. Wallace trying to line up with Jarrett. Can they make a move? Will Burton give them anywhere to go? I don't think he will. I think Burton's going to run that perfect line. Jarrett looks to the outside now. Nowhere to go there. Trying the bottom side again. Jeff Burton won his first Winston Cup race on CBS. He comes off turn four, and he's going to win the last Winston Cup race on CBS. Jeff Burton. Rusty Wallace and Mark Martin winning the Pepsi 400. He did a marvelous job of, that, of protecting his territory. Now that was a chess game. That was a chess game. And he did block the racetrack, but is his racetrack to block? When you're leading, you can do what you please. Absolutely. Protecting his territory. The NapaOnline.com margin of victory. 0.149 seconds. Jeff Burton over Dale Jarrett. Numbers come by to congratulate him. Second win of the year. He won earlier in Las Vegas and had top five finishes. A second at Daytona, fifth at Darlington, second at Texas and Martinsville, and fifth in California. So in a reversal of the Daytona 500 finish, Jeff Burton defeats Dale Jarrett. We'll talk to him in a minute.